Okay, so here we are at the uh, logon screen. Um, it's a, a normal username and password setup as you would uh, usually have on any uh, website. So let's just log into this system. So you log into the system, and as you can see here, yeah, this is the home page. It's got uh, a little box here which basically tells you how to get started, um, and then it's got your navigation buttons at the top. This is the home, so this gets you back to the home screen from wherever you may be. This is the um, view accounts page, and this is where you add accounts and you navigate accounts and objectives, etc., and, and the people. Then you've got a help button in there and then you've got a, a contact us uh, button as well so um, as I said this little box here tells you how to get started so number one it says click um, the account button to create new account so that's exactly what we're going to do so once you click on that what you'll find is there's a test account already in there just to make sure this means that you know it's working but we don't want to mess about with that or uh, get involved with that so what you do is you want to create a new account you press create new account and then a create new account box opens up all of the information there you add account name and all region etc the one area i will highlight is that there's a little box down here that says starred and if you tick that then uh, a gold star appears next to the name so that is to identify your key accounts or your significant accounts that you want to be identified uh, as, as separate accounts so i'm not going to fill this in because it's all self-explanatory so uh, what we'll do is move uh, to the account page and, and you can then see how we then start working with those accounts so here we are this is how you'd have built them up. You'd have added all those accounts using that screen. Click on this little button there, which is the arrow, which is the view of the account. It allows you to see just the top line information about that account. That's the edit uh, button, and that's then the delete button. So that's as simple as it is. That little star there, as we said, shows that um, it's a, a significant account, and they're then ranked in alphabetical order on those stars. So uh, and that's the account. If you want to see more information about that specific account, then you'd click on the view account profile button and that'll just give you a, almost like a record card which gives you more information and obviously you can build that up. So uh, that's just how to, to make an account. The next thing that you'd want to do is actually then add people to that account. So you just click on add new person, simple as. And again, a create new person screen adds up all the information that you need to add in is there. Uh, a lot of it is drop down boxes, uh, as you can see um, there. Uh, and then there's pre populated information which is dragged through from the account. And then there's a notes box down here so that you can actually put specific notes about that particular account. So you'd fill that in, uh, very simple. Similar to uh, what we just saw with the uh, account, then that button refers to deleting that's the edit button and then that, that allows you to view information about that particular individual this is just the in information that we've just added in um, showing all of the information about that specific individual here's the notes around that uh, individual and then this just refers so that you know exactly which account it's still linked to okay so you've now added in the accounts you've added in the people and then you go back to the account profile because it's now time to start some account planning so if you go to the overall objectives you can obviously add an objective there quite simply um, and if you add an objective then uh, obviously put the overall objective in target date so it's time bound what are the opportunities press create and you've created an objective that will then take you to this screen which is the objective screen as in um, the objectives against your account you can see that we've got three objectives there and if you want to get any more information about any one of those uh, three then you just click on the button that then allows you to again delete that objective if required or to edit that objective uh, the plus button here refers to adding a decision and the way that we build up the, our account plans is that you have an overall objective you then define what decisions are required for that overall objective to be achieved and then you just add it in and what you can see down here is the decisions that we've put in and these refer specifically to that objective so you've then got an objective you've got decisions so the next step is really to identify your decision making unit through the influencer matrix so if you click on uh, the influencer matrix down here 
that then takes you to the influencer matrix I've already put some people in there but if you want to add uh, an influencer to that matrix you just click on that um, and then it will then change to add influencer so neither this is a table with all the people in you then add influencer those influencers are obviously pre-populated from when you put the people in uh, you select the name of the customer you decide what the support of the company is so let's say he's positive influence and power let's call him one and let's say he's an economic decision maker and then it's as simple as that that then creates it in the table and if you want to then just check that it's in there you look there uh, Marco Balotelli is now down here and so the last thing that you want to be able to do is then add in the direction of influence because you've now put all your key influences in there you then add in the influencer matrix and all you do is drag and drop so whoever influences who the direction of outlaw is the direction of influence so, and then you drag and drop it like that that then has built up the influencer table you click save and you've built the uh, decision making unit now the key thing about any decision making unit is then what do you then do with that so what you want to do is then build an action plan specifically around these people to ensure that you're delivering the correct results so if you go back to the account planning page you then want to build up a plan around these key decision makers and you just click on there to add a plan as with all of those you put your action in there you put your customer in there the customers that are in that decision making unit are now uh, available start date target date and completion date and then you put your notes and you press create that then opens up for the, for you the action plan so what you've got if you just refer back at the overall account objective you've got your decision that uh, is required or one of the decisions that is required to uh, achieve that then you've got your action plan which is based around the customers and the specific actions and the, the good thing here is that obviously you can do this for each one of those now what you then do uh, we've got an export to PDF button here which then allows you to take that action plan out and that account plan out so that you can have it with you at all times so that then loads up and then your action plan is like this uh, and this is specific to that objective so what you'll find is you've got your action plan there's your objective there's your due date those are your opportunities that's your decision that specific decision that's the decision making unit with all the dates barriers actions etc and then uh, you we didn't go into this one but you can see there's the, there's another decision um, which we haven't actually fully scoped out but that then brings out an action plan by decision by account so if you go back here there's just one more thing to show you if you go back into the decision making unit what we've done is made sure that we've linked all these customers so when you're looking in this decision unit if you click on any of these customers then it'll go directly to that customer screen um, so it goes back to the screen that we've seen before and if you click on this button list actions for person then the actions that you saw in the previous screen around the action plan then they all link into that individual so you'll have the action plan overview but you also have an action plan by individual uh, customer and that in essence is it so you then go back to the account page clicking on the button and you're then back to exactly where you started from with all your accounts listed there then that's it that's that's a whistle stop tour of going to plan account planner and happy planning